today's topic is kind of, I think, something that is seen as something a bit awkward to talk about, which is money. Uh, I know a lot of times, I don't know, there's a weird feeling about money. Like if you talk about it, you're kind of bragging or which I think makes people not want to talk about the real issues about money is the fact that a lot of people struggle with, you know, their finances. So we've all been to university, which I think is a kind of one of the main reasons why a lot of young people have to open their eyes to finances. I know that I didn't really know how bills and stuff worked uh, when I went to uni. So what was your experience like? I always joke that I don't know who the hell me and my best friend thought we were when we were at uni, right? We were going out four times a week, new outfit every time. We then have to like mooch on into Cardiff, maybe get a couple of coffees when we were out there. Oh, I'm not gonna go out tonight. Should we just go out for food instead? Yeah, where was I getting this money from? And then at the end of it, I was like, oh, hang on, I'm two and a half grand in debt. Like, how has this happened? And, you know, I feel like I look back and do you know what? I don't regret any of it, but I'm in a very fortunate position that I've been able to pay that debt off, you know, mm. before interest was added. But, it's dangerous because nobody told me that that was going to happen. Like nothing in school ever warned me about paying bills. Overdrafts create a lot of problems. Credit cards create a lot of problems. And I, I really fear this lack of education that we've got on budgeting and how to handle our money. I think it's going to lead to so many problems down the line. I got this student overdraft and it was like a grand to start off with. And I was like, I've got a grand to spend before even going to uni. So what did I do? I booked Creamfields and I got, I got loads of like drinks and stuff. I bought a tent. And I was already like 300 quid in it before I even started at Freshers. Uh, but it got worse and worse and I was able to like extend it. You know, you can extend it like to two mm. to two and a half grand. The mine was two and a half grand. Um, and yeah, it was so bad. Like I had three jobs as well. So I had three jobs for my degree and still I've managed somehow get to like the bottom of that. So I left uni with like four or five grand of debt. I'm still paying it off now. Like I haven't paid it all off. I think it's quite dangerous kind of rhetoric that you go to uni, there's like freshers week where have this discount, have this discount, like they encourage spending. And actually it's like, we haven't even been told what to do with this money, what we need to use it for, how we need to budget it. And then I know all of us have probably done it at freshers week. You spend it on clothes, spend it on going out. And then, you know, November hits and you're like, shit waiting for that kind of next loan to drop and that reality is something that i feel like we're not definitely not prepared for or told even told about before you go and i was literally like mel as well i was here like you know thinking i was kidman paris you know spending <laughs> loads the amount of takeaways i would have within a week i'm oh. sure i spent about <laughs> 500 quid a week the pop-up of brands like klarna clearpay where you can pay up front or pay in 14 days or pay a bit now and I use them every now and then and I actually got a message the other day of Klarna you've got this payment coming out this payment and these are like months ago and I thought oh god like I did actually forget about them. Klarna 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 I don't I, I actually love it but I also hate it at the same time this is literally now this is now this is not <laughs> I, I have a Klarna <laughs> problem okay I love it but Jesus Christ is it bad you don't think do you you don't think about like, you just like, oh, I'm not paying for it now, it's fine, put it on the Klarna. And then it comes to it and you're like, got eight things to pay for. And then you're like, oh, I'll pay it off. And you've got 300 quid out your account on payday. Like, oh, whoops, I didn't budget for this. For me, like getting one of the, I'm not going to name who they are, but one of the competitor banks, which is a purely online, it makes a little noise every time some money leaves my bank account. It's been the best thing for me with budgeting because it, it's made me realize when the money leaves it is going out and i know that sounds like so stupid but that little trigger and all, also the layout of it is so clear it's so instant as well like i had one of the more traditional banks well i'm still with the, the traditional bank as well i've got two accounts but with that one there was a few days delay so i'd spend something and then it wouldn't show up for a couple of days whereas this one is so instant you can physically see the the difference and to me that's made a huge difference and i've now in the first time in my adult life in a position where I can start saving. I know what you mean about like apps and stuff when you have instant like notifications and when you get like, oh, you can set budgets. Yeah. Like those kind of things. Why wasn't why, why wasn't this always the situation? It's mad, isn't it? And with the bank that I've got, I know on the mobile app, they give you like a sort of like, it like calculates, like it looks like the direct debit, it looks about how you usually spend and it like add it all up and say like, okay, in a week's time, this is how much you'll have. So just have a think about it. And it'll give you tips as well. I just think, 
oh, like I, like you said, I would love to have that like two years ago when I was buying like 500 quid's worth of takeaway on the weekend, you know? From early on, I've been sort of in freelance type of world where I've had to ask for money. And for so long, I wouldn't do it, you know, and I'd be waiting months and months because, you know, unfortunately, companies do just take the mick and especially out of young people and especially out of young women. So mm. I would take wait months and months to not be paid. And I'd be like, guys, you know, I'm relying on this to, to pay my bills and to pay my rent. And I think that has forced me into being a bit more open about money and just being like, right, what am I going to be paid? Is there a fee for this? Because a lot of the times, again, you just feel embarrassed about asking, but you know, if you're doing a job and you're contributing to something, you deserve to be paid. No, no definitely, I agree with you over there. Because it's like recently, we're like, you know, go doing stuff through TikTok and stuff like that. I'll do stuff with like brands or like companies. And it's like, at first I was like, if they were going to pay me for it, I wouldn't chase them up or anything. I'll just let them do it in their own time because it's like, I'm grateful for the opportunity that they've given me. But it was like, at this one point, I was sort of the mindset of like, I'll go shopping today because I'm going to get paid next week and next week comes and I didn't get paid. So I was like, oh, right, I'm in a bad situation now. So I'll like drop a little email, just be like, oh, you know, you know, when's the money coming in? I actually like need a, you know, kiss kiss. But then after times when it gets to that point where it's like, right, I need my money now. I'll put my hat, my foot down and just be like, right, I'm in this situation now. You put me in this situation. Where is my money? You know? For me personally, it really took a mental toll on my mental health to be chasing up all the time because... You know, one, you feel embarrassed. You feel like you're begging for money that you've already worked for. You've already, you know, done the work yeah. for. And to chase it, to not know when that's coming in, to be worrying about when you can pay your bills, to be worrying about, you know, when your next job is, if they're going to hire you again, so you don't want to keep chasing and annoy them. And I feel like it's just so disrespectful for people, companies to exploit that. I do think people, especially our age, live beyond their budget mm. because they want to be living a grammable life. You know, and yeah. I think that is such a new pressure that like, like my parents can't understand. They're like, what are you taking a photo of this for? I think now people are living beyond their means to look like they're living their best lives online. Like you can see girls doing photo shoots in fake airplanes to make it look like they've taken a private jet yeah. somewhere, you know? It's, and like that I think is a real risk now, the way you've like, this Insta versus reality. You need to see a bit more of the reality. Otherwise people are gonna be in debt. Money has always been something we don't want to talk about. We're told not to talk about, to be embarrassed about. But actually, it is the one thing that we should be open about and share because it is th something that makes the world go round. You know, we need to pay our rent. We yeah. need to pay our mortgage. We need to pay our bills or else we'll be, you know, in a really tricky situation. that will have a detrimental effect on our mental health. So, yeah, definitely, I would say if we were going to, I feel like this is all of us to go. It's just to talk about it and open up to your friends and family but also you know there's a lot of free advice out there there's money advisors there's free schemes out there as well that can help you and kind of budget for you and you know point you in the direction of help that you can get and benefits and things like that so I think just feeling comfortable enough to talk about it and that you shouldn't be ashamed of you know your situation is definitely a step in the right direction.